here we are now, we're in this beautiful landscape and this is what we're trying to preserve. The idea between behind weed control is preservation of our natural resources. This is a very beautiful natural resource for rangeland. We've got cows up in here, we've got recreation for hunting, all these kind of things. We have a, a nice little stream that flows through here to feed into the uh, Birch Creek area, which eventually feeds into the Snake River, which we all know ends up into the ocean, recycles its way back through. Weed control is built on, on basically four components. The first one that we want to talk about is what we call preventative. If you can get up into a, a landscape like what we have up to our left, we've got sagebrush, we have trees, we have shrubs, we have forbs, we have grass. If we can keep that healthy, the weeds are not going to come in. What happens though is we come in like what we see behind us and we disturb it. Now we have a vector for weeds to come in, so now we have to come up with a weed control method. Our first line of defense would be, you know, keep it healthy. Second one would be something simple as a shovel. If you've got one or two weeds, all you have to do is reach down, pop that root up, pull it out of the ground, you've got the plant, you've just, you minimize your disturbance. The next line of defense that we do in a lot of areas is biocontrol. What Roger has here is a seed head off of a musk thistle, big baseball sized thistle. And inside those thistles and seed heads you'll find will have a, a bug in it. But we have biocontrol. We use a lot of biocontrol in sensitive areas like this. And then once we get to the point where biocontrol is not gonna work or it's not the best situation, we've tried our mechanical, we've tried our, our, uh, our prevention, we've tried all that. Then we have to come down to the biggest tool that we use, which are pesticides. Now the pesticides we're using today are obviously herbicides used to kill a, a plant. And as you can see on our little shelf right here, this is our toolbox of the day. And we prescription treat every piece of land that we come to. We, we take in consideration what is our use of the land. This is rangeland and some of its wildlife and some of it's gonna be development. Some of you are eventually gonna build a house here. We also want to consider what is our weed species. Our weed species here is Canada thistle. We have um, musk thistle, we have hound's tongue. So those three noxious weeds means that we need to sometimes mix chemistries. So all of these products will preserve grasses. Regardless of what we do, we don't want to kill the grasses because we need something in there as a competition to the, the weeds coming in. We add different kind of surfactants and additives to it to make sure that we can get it mixed. And then sometimes, a lot of cases, we'll run bullseye, which is a, or any other kind of a, a dye, because you know if we've got four or five applicators in the same area, we don't want to double apply, let alone we don't want to miss an area, and the dyes are great to tell us where we are and where we've been. So once again, the biggest component and practice we can do in our weed control is integrated pest management, IPM which means using all the tools in the toolbox. If you can keep your land healthy by minimizing your disturbance, if you can't do that, you know, or you can't get in there with grazing or some kind of fertilizer or anything, then you have to get into the actual controlling the weeds. And our first line of defense is a shovel. Our second line of defense could be a biocontrol in conjunction with, with the pesticides, but there's not gonna do any good to use one and not use the others. <laughs>